Today we squash the Wendy's and McDonald's beef once and for all. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now if Ronald McDonald and Wendy from Wendy's got in a fight, who do you think would win? <sighs> well, me, because I mean, forget all that Jake Paul boxing hoopla. Okay. I I think this is the pay-per-view event that I'd want to watch. Okay, well my money is on Ron, but my heart will always be with Wendy. Yeah. But if those restaurants' foods were to face off, do you think it would turn out the same way? Well, the battle has actually already begun on Twitter because McDonald's tweeted, reply to this haiku about McDonald's and maybe I'll make it our Twitter bio. And then Wendy's did in fact reply with this haiku. Frozen beef circle passed out the drive through window, a disappointment. Ooh, cold. And one time, random Twitter user and upset McDonald's customer, Ringtail Bat, tweeted, leave it to McDonald's to disappoint me with a promise of spicy nuggets just to give me regular cowards. I should have known never to stray from Wendy's perfection. And Wendy's quickly hopped in with, now you can be disappointed in regular and spicy flavors. Yeah, it's pretty Ooh. clear. When it comes to Twitter, uh, Wendy's doesn't have any competition, but the battle yeah. is not with words, it's with taste. So let's discover the true champion amongst these fast food juggernauts. It's time for Food Feuds, Wendy's versus McDonald's. We're going to taste and compare popular items from each restaurant's menu and then rate them independently on a scale yes. of one to 10. The restaurant with the most points will be crowned the fast food feud fiend and will win a chance to sponsor a future GMM episode. Okay, as always, uh, we sent out a mythical crew member to each place to pick up our order. Stevie, uh, what's the update? We heard back from him yet? Well, if you can believe it, both restaurants have really upped their communication game in the past year. So we actually have video call technology so we can see the employees handling the order. Um, and I think a call should be coming in from Wendy's right now. Wow, that's, well, that, that ring sounds a lot like Stevie. Oh, you know what? There's but the look. phone. Oh, look, it's, it's Patty. Hey, Patty. Hey, hey. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, for once, there is nothing wrong with your food order. Although, someone from your crew asked for three spicy nuggets on their Baconator, which is weird, but also sounds really good. Anyway, I have this thing I need help with. Uh, could you call McDonald's right now on another phone so I could talk to Dirk? Oh. Oh, oh. at McDonald's. Okay, uh, yeah. I you're, mean, you're always he works there, too. To connect I have a with phone. Dirk. Okay. And I'm dialing. Oh, and enter. Hey Dirk. It's, oh hey, it's what's Link. what's crack what's crack a lacking, Lincoln Rut McCacken? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's good to see you again and not just hear you. Um, uh, we've got. I want to call her Wendy. Your name's not Wendy. No, it's, it's Patty. Patty. Don't disrespect. We got Patty. we got no. Patty at Wendy's and she's asking us to call you so that you can talk to her. Oh, that's so sweet. <sighs> okay. Um, Dirk, uh, oh, I was wait, wondering. You want to you want to look at him? Maybe. Oh maybe. yeah, could you do me a favor and put our little phone the phone so we could see each other? Oh, now okay. I can see your beautiful face. Oh, thanks so much, uh, Dirk. I was wondering uh, what you were doing for the rest of your future warp tours, because can I come and will you marry me? Well, this is moving very quick. What? Oh, my coal chamber, yes. Yes, I will marry you. Oh. <laughs> so the, I'm so oh. happy. Hey, Dirk, I packed your lunch today. Uh, check the Cheetos. Uh, the che yeah, you packed my favorite lunch of all Cheetos. <laughs> oh. All Cheetos. You got me a red butterfly ring. You got me a lip ring for the, look, <laughs> look at it. It's so pretty. It's a butterfly. You gotta look close. The quality's bad. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't really tell what's happening. It's, a it's video there. Chat. It's there. Oh, I would like to respond to my love, Patty, with mm -hmm. a song that I wrote. Can I do that? Okay. Oh, well, wow. Our this time is, is limited. But we've got all the time in the world for love. Uh, no, we don't, Dirk. Make it quick. Patricia, I want to kiss you. I want to live my life in bliss uh, with Patricia, Patricia, Patricia. I love you, Patricia, Patricia, Patricia. 
I'm working on it still. Oh, it, made me, not... it made me very emotional. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, I love you, my butterfly sugar baby. I can't wait. To I love you too. Okay, baby. okay guys, congratulations. We, we have okay. a we have a show to do. Yeah. Uh, so right, sorry about that. Okay. Best oh, wishes, you, Dirk and Patricia. Good luck with your future. Thank you very guys. much. Okay. I love you. Let's eat some food. Okay, gentlemen, we're going to begin with breakfast. On Rhett's side is Wendy's bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, which you can order for $3.29. And on Link's side is McDonald's bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, which you can order for $4.79. Yeah, and we didn't go with the McRiddles or the McMuffin so that we could do apples to apples comparison or biscuits to biscuits. Right. It's a very uh, cakey biscuit. Yeah, and it all kind of comes together into one thing. Um, I mean, it's not bad. The The main flavor that you get is, is, egg. is cheese. Oh, yeah. And then bacon. And then egg. And then egg. Is it, are you are you now agreeing? No, I thought it was egg, very eggy. I just, I'm, I'm not very impressed with that. No, oh, but let's see. I'm not ready to give it a score Speaking though. Speaking of egg. A lot more egg on this, and it's, it's, scram it's a scrambled egg. Oh and my, that's more than twice as good. Okay, so let's score Wendy's first. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it a three. Four. It's not great to me. I don't want our answers to influence each other, so I'm just, as soon as you say it, I'm saying okay. it, I got it. I'm giving that a four. And then I'm gonna give this, okay, I'm gonna, I think we should score it and then add points for the McRiddles, which is not here because I just think McDonald's deserves that in their breakfast category. I don't even think I have to do that because it's just so much better. I said it was about twice as better. I'm saying it is twice as better. Eight. I'm gonna give it a six and add one for McGriddles um, to make it a seven. Don't understand, but okay. It's nugget time, boys. On Rhett side are Wendy's six-piece chicken nuggets that you can buy for $1.99, and on Link side are McDonald's six-piece chicken McNuggets that you can get for $2.50. This is kind of like a version of what you might get in the frozen food section. Uh, th I think these are very good. You know, there's lots of people that'll bend over backwards for a Wendy's nugget. A McDonald's nugget, on the other hand, is its own entity incomparable to any other thing, including nuggets on the planet. It's got a harder shell. Yeah, they're just so difficult to go side by side because- In a signature taste. If you didn't know these were from McDonald's and you didn't know McDonald's was a thing, you might think something was wrong with this nut. Right, you'd be like, this is this is horrible. This is like alien. But once you get used to it, you either, again, you either you love it or hate it. You anticipate that taste, which is not bad, but it's also not good. If I'm not three years old, I'm not I loving prefer, it. I prefer, there's something I prefer, okay. Six. Seven. And four. four. Ouch. In support of Pride Month 2021, we're releasing an all new Proud Mythical Beast all over print tee for a limited time. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's printed all over. There's not a spot on this. It, what's up, maybe the, just this little ring collar right here. Mm -hmm. This is a limited time, only available for 48 hours at mythical.com and a portion of the proceeds will go to the Los Angeles LGBT Center, so please, do it for a good cause and for a great t-shirt. Get yours now. Mythical.com, fries versus fries. I've been yes. dreading this round, man. Oh. Because I think this is gonna be a difficult one. So the really? Wendy's medium-sized fries come in at $2.59, and then the McDonald's medium-sized fries come in at $3.19. Now, Wendy's is kind of going for the natural. You've got the skin still on, kind of trying to do like a five guys kind of thing, you know, where, we already know they, McDonald's fries will stay good for like 40 years. Well, they won't turn into anything, but after a few minutes, they're not good. You got to eat those suckers fresh. I mean, that's kind of true of most fries. I'm not really gonna hold that against it. I try to eat half of my fries at McDonald's before I dig in anything else so that they're not lingering out there and getting cold mm. and nasty. Again, McDonald's has done something with the specificity of each one of their items and it transcends the genre. All other, yeah, it transcends the whole genre. Well, Wendy's has done a great job with these fries. I think that it's the best fry you can get that's got a little bit of the skin on it. Again, this is almost like it's otherworldly, and you may love it. Stevie, I know that you absolutely mm, obsess you know it. over these oh, fries. So all, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little time. pressure, a little yep. of that energy. Mm, yep. Um, They do something very different for me, and tough. they both do it well. 
Yeah, this is, that's why this is tough. Okay. Huh. It's like both of my kids, you know? I mean, they're very different. I love them in different ways. I know my number. But I love them, this, well, I love one a little bit more than the other. Um, so, I'm going, I've got three, how do you think I feel? I'm going with uh, seven, seven, eight. eight. Whoa! I wow. mean, I, I think it just edges it out because there's just some ubiquity to the to these that you just keep coming back to them. Yeah, it's good. It may be the best thing McDonald's has to offer. Oh, okay. Well, that's not what we're judging, though. Burgers on Rhett's side is Wendy's Dave's Double that you can order for five ninety nine, and on gracious. Link's side is McDonald's Classic Big Mac that can be ordered for five fifty nine. Yep, and you can. Man, I remember when you can get a Big Mac meal for two ninety nine. I mean, look at that cross section. This that, is a classic burger. You've got the square patty, which I can kind of take it or leave it, but it feels like a diner burger in that really soft bun. And this is the first round where the Wendy's menu item is more expensive than the McDonald's. All the rest, Wendy's has been cheaper. I think you can taste the difference, man. Their beef and their cheese, that is a winning combination. My That's a good burger. When you start to analyze everything they put around it, it distracts from how great that one taste is. Well, what, what do you mean around it? The lettuce, the mayo, all that stuff around it is just kind of like blah. It doesn't. It doesn't bring anything to the party. But the beef and the cheese together, and especially that beef, but none is of it's very o- none of it's overwhelming. I mean, to me, it's a, it's a subtle. And again, we're back to the same kind of thing with McDonald's. The food science that goes into a McDonald's menu item, like the Big Mac, is just so. It's so engineered, you know what I'm saying? You don't take a bite and you're not thinking about the meat. You're not thinking about any ingredient. You're thinking about the entire entity. That Thousand Island or secret sauce dressing and the onions, it really brings it all together and it it creates a defining culinary moment no matter what your age. Uh, That special sauce really does a lot, but I'm trying to let myself. That corner of beef though. The beef on this, the quality of the meat is something that. Have we fallen for the marketing? No, it tastes different. Look at it. It's real. Look how thick that is. It's tough. That's fabulous. I got a score for over here. Seven. Seven. You went bigger with the Wendy's? I did. I went slightly bigger with the with the Big Mac, well, and we've canceled the, each other out. The square out. beef, the bigger beef. This is a Where's tie, the beef? This is a tie around. Didn't think that would happen, but it did. I'm going to finish it. On Rhett's side is Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich that you can get for $5.39, and on Link's side is McDonald's new spicy chicken sandwich that you can buy for $4.99. Okay, it's a little cheaper. All right, something to note about this. This particular spicy chicken sandwich at Wendy's has been around since the mid 90s. So it's pre chicken sandwich wars that have been happening since Popeyes did their thing, right? And so this is a response to Popeyes. So I have to think, he's not distracting at all. Uh, I have to think that this is going to be a completely different experience than this like mid 90s chicken sandwich. You know what I'm saying? But I've never had either, so let's find out. This is more like a McChicken. But from Wendy's, mm-hmm. I was thinking more like school lunch. It has plus a school. Spice. It has a school lunch quality to it. I really Not can't great. say anything positive about it. And this is again it's spicy. They're try- This is looks a lot like a, a Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. There's no sauce on it. There's just pickles. There's a stripe on the bun though, kind of like that guy from Gremlins. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Traver can do that. I've seen him do that on a bun. Oh yeah, yeah. he can stripe a bun. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can almost taste like a, a brine there. Mm-hmm. The bun tastes better. Chicken tastes better. Where's the spice? I don't taste There's anything. not a lot of spice. Nope. Okay. Three. Four. four. We don't like these, but we both liked. I said oh, four. Oh, you tied four. You tied them exactly? Man, mm-hmm. you were pretty tough on McDonald's. It's, just, a, it, it's definitely better. It could have done more. It could have done more. Okay, it's time for dessert. On Rhett's side is Wendy's Medium Classic Chocolate Frosty, which comes in at two nineteen, And on Link's side is McDonald's regular size Oreo McFlurry that you can get for three forty nine. dollars mm. All the stuff we've talked about McDonald's 
creating something that transcends the genre of the, did of, it of the item. They did it with the Frosty, and they've never looked back. But have you ever thought to yourself, I don't know how good a Frosty is? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> that's you, a good point. You enjoy it, but then when you really stop and think about it, you're like, it's sort of this mildly flavored chocolate, completely homogenous. It's like a, it's almost like a, a Yoohoo shake. Yeah. You know? But I love it. I, I mean, I'm not saying I don't right. like it, but I've never really thought about it. I don't think about the food when I just go out and eat it. I just no, eat it. No, but when I go to show, Wendy's, I think about it. I go to Wendy's and I'm like, I haven't been here in a while. And then I realize, oh, Frosty. Frosty. I get all excited. But a McFlurry is a different thing. First of all, you have this hollowed out spoon. It's like the freaking sword in the stone here. What's <laughs> happening? All right, whoever gets it out first is King McDonald's. Oh. I mean, you have the addition of whatever you've McFlurred into it. In this case, or he ho. Or he ho. And I'm really influenced by things that have been McFlurred. The consistency of a frosty, it's more airy than soft serve. I'm, I'm gonna add points because it's so unique. Yeah, and you can dip your fries in it. What That's kind of a you thing. You can do that here too, but. But it wouldn't be good with Oreo though. Yeah. I'm. I, okay, I gotta say, I like both of these. The, the frosty, when I came back to it, is growing on me a little bit. And I think these are both great dessert offerings. I'm going eight, nine, and seven. Eight. Again, I think that they end up tying in the end. Okay, well, uh, it seems that I'm on the only one moving the needle. What is our result, Stevie? Well, it looks like by the hair of their chinny chin chins, the winner is McDonald's. Ooh, Congratulations, okay. I, f I feel good about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I no think hate to Wendy. Both of these are good fast food establishments with a long storied history. But you know what? I think that McDonald's just edged them out just a little bit. Congratulations, Mickey D's. You know what you won? You're the fast food. F you're the fast food food fiend, food, 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 and you want a chance to sponsor a GMM episode. We'll call it GM McDonald's. Come at me, Ron. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Jordan, and this is Sarah. And we're in Woodstock, Ontario. Trying Big Macs for the first time. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Trying Big Macs for the first time in your life? Sheltered couple, you know how it goes. Well, good luck with the rest of everything. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us figure out the best fast food milkshake for French fried dipping in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Celebrate Pride Month with our new Proud Mythical Beast All Over Tea, available for only 48 hours at mythical.com.